Hi everyone, Chef Petey back again with a very special dish for you to try out, Kung Pao Chicken. The new and improved version, and if you like the old version, you'll love this one. Uh, now most of the Kung Pao recipes out there are mostly uh, chicken and not too much veggies. Uh, and I, but I happen to love veggies, so this one is not all chicken. But if you are not a big fan of veggies, then go ahead and use less. And as always, this recipe will be posted in the description box below. And if you have not had a chance to subscribe, please do so now. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate the, uh, the chicken. So right here I have one pound of a chicken thigh meat. Uh, it's all diced up. Uh, obviously you can use uh, chicken breast, but this is all I have is a chicken dark meat right now. And the option is, you know, uh, whatever kind of protein you want, uh, beef, shrimp, uh, tofu, or if you just like veggies, just do all veggies. That's fine. And that, you know, obviously you're gonna eat it, so you're gonna be have, to be, have to be happy with it. All right, so in a bowl, we're gonna put the chicken in. Now we're gonna put uh, one uh, tablespoon of light soy, one tablespoon of rice wine, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of cornstarch, and one egg white. And one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And just massage it in real good. You're gonna put it in the fridge and let it marinate for a half hour. And you know, obviously longer the better, but if, if it's fi at least 15 minutes though, okay? All right, we'll come back. And uh, another thing you'll need is the Szechuan peppercorn. You get this at uh, Asian grocery store, or I would leave a link below as to where you can order this. Um, so I got about half a uh, tablespoon right here, and we're just gonna roast it for about a minute, okay? Okay, we'll just uh, set the flame to about medium. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's look at the ingredient for the sauce. I have a quarter cup of water. Uh, you can also use chicken stock. We're just out of chicken stock, so water is, right, is fine. One and a half tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of uh, vinegar. Uh, you can use white vinegar, but this is uh, apple cider vinegar one tablespoon of Kikoman soy sauce, uh, one teaspoon of dark soy, two tablespoons 
of uh, tomato ketchup, uh, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, I have one eighth teaspoon garlic powder, one eighth teaspoon of white pepper powder, one eighth teaspoon of uh, ground chili pepper, and uh, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, and uh, I have uh, just a pinch of five spice powder. You don't want to use too much of that because uh, I think that's what happened to our other recipe is uh, we just have too much uh, five spice powder. And of course, the, uh, the ground uh, toasted Szechuan peppercorn, okay? And so we're gonna mix all this together and uh, that's how you make the sauce. Nothing to, to it, this recipe is very simple. Okay, let's take a look at what other ingredients we need. I have a quarter cup of uh, onions, diced, a quarter cup of uh, red pepper, diced, quarter cup of green peppers, diced, a uh, quarter cup of uh, carrots, diced, quarter cup of celery, diced, a uh, quarter cup of sliced button mushrooms, and a quarter cup of uh, diced water chestnuts. And obviously, this is what I have on hand, so I'm just, that's what I'm gonna use. But you could use pretty much anything you want. You could put zucchinis in, you could put um, eggplants, whatever you like. Uh, I also have two Thai chili peppers. The option is you can use uh, dried uh, chili peppers also. Uh, but uh, two is gonna be plenty hot for me, but maybe for most of you it's not. I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to eating hot food. So uh, I got um, half a, a tablespoon of minced ginger and half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then uh, I have a quarter cup of roasted uh, peanut. Okay, all right, let's get cooking. Okay, let me get the hop. The wok really hot here. Put about a tablespoon of oil. Basically, I cook the chicken until it's uh, it turns color, turns white. Unfortunately, the fire in my room is not the greatest, it's not real high. So what I do sometimes, is I'll uh, get that smoky flavor, I put a butane torch to it. And that'll give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a, 
wok flavor. Okay, and this is about half cooked. Good enough, we're still gonna cook it some more. Put that aside. All right, I'm gonna heat up the wok again. Add a little bit more oil. Now I'm gonna put our aromatics in. Gonna start with the onion. Ginger and garlic. I'm going to stir it for maybe about 30 seconds or so. Now you're going to add the rest of the veggies in. the sauce in. Okay, we'll just cover it up, let it cook. Probably about three or four minutes now. Veggies are getting soft. Now we're gonna put the chicken back in. And let it cook for another, probably about three minutes or so. Okay, that's about two minutes, almost three minutes here, so that looks pretty good. Let's 
plate it up. Pow chicken. You gotta put the peanuts on. There you go. Okay, everyone's favorite part of the video, especially mine. Let's try this out. Oh. Oh, it's spicy. It's salty. It's sweet. It's spicy, it's a little bit vinegary, it's excellent. I hope you get a chance to try it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video. Great, so a bunch of viewers are interested in buying these black t-shirts, Dragon House t-shirts, so if you're interested, uh, please email me at this address down here, right there, and uh, let me know what size and quantity you want. And then uh, we'll try to get some and uh, get them out to you.